Welkom terug, jy is ingeskakel by jou goed voel en by het program, dit is Expresso hier op SABC3, dit is a lekker vrijdag en jy is ingeskakel op die rechte plek. Now this is of course casual day with a theme, how to get your sea legs, be creative, go out there, dress up in cool ways and then take photos and share it with us, we would love to see what you guys come up with. But of course, right now is that time of the morning to get into some youth sporting action. Spring is well and truly underway and with it another season of exciting youth sport. However, being the rugby fanatics that we are as South Africans, we refuse to let go of those elegant line breaks, and so we play Sevens Rugby. Villagers Rugby Club will host their annual Sevens Rugby tournament this coming weekend after the tournament was suspended due to weather last week. 32 teams from 21 schools will compete, and last year's winners Weinberg will be back to defend their title and to enjoy a great round off to an outstanding season in the 15 aside format of the game. Here's a quick breakdown of the Sevens rules. Each team consists of, yes, you guessed it, seven players and three reserves. Matches are played seven minutes each way, with a minute's break in between. The final is ten minutes each way, and if any match results in a draw, the teams will move on to sudden death, where they play five minutes each way until a team scores, resulting in the winner. Make sure you make your way down to Villagers in Claremont. Games will be played on all three of the club's fields until the finals on the A pitch. Now onto the international scene. Sinamuva Primary School from KwaZulu Natal are currently in Poland representing South Africa in the Danone Nations Cup Finals after they defeated Sonkova Primary from Gauteng in the national finals all the way back in June. 11-year-old Mtunzi Dlamini, who lives in Pietermaritzburg with his aunt and his cousin and has dreams of being a pilot when he grows up, captains Sinamuva. South Africa have been placed in Group C alongside fellow Africans Ivory Coast, as well as Turkey, Switzerland and Spain. Tough group. And finally, now on to some exciting T20 cricket. St. David's Merits in Nanda host their annual Under-19 T20 Festival in Gauteng this weekend. The tournament is used as a way for schools to hone their cricketing skills at Under-19 level and to also help to grow the format of the game at high school level. So if you're a massive cricketing fan, make your way down to Santon and catch some exciting and fast-paced cricket as these lads knock the ball to all corners of the school ground. And that's a wrap of your youth sport.